Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Beyond. So in this episode we're going to be covering the one of my favorite Doctor Strange comics, uh, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom, Triumph and Torment. So, I wanted to do this one, one, because it's my favorite Doctor Strange book, but also it's got my other, my favorite Marvel villain uh, next to Magneto, but it has Doctor Doom in it, and what this book does it doesn't just put those two together, but it serves almost as a tack on to the Doctor Doom origin story. Because this really flushes out and kind of goes um, into his backstory a lot more. And explains why really he, how he became who he is, um, all the way up to his mystical side. Um, so what it is, is like. His mother was like a gypsy witch. I made a deal with Mephisto. Of course, it being Mephisto, the deal goes bad. Um, she gets uh, trapped in basically hell. And so you fast forward um, to what would be present day for Doom and Strange. And so they go through this uh, tournament um, for basically... Uh, wizards and the myst mystical arts and stuff like that um after this tournament uh of course strange and doom prevail and uh doom approaches strange and says uh so i i need you for something i need your assistance um i need you to go back to liberia with me uh my homeland so strange is like all right yeah i'll go with you i'll help you out um when we get there though i want to know what it is you're wanting to do before you know, I agree to anything, so they go back, and, uh, so, Strange lays, uh, not Strange, Doom lays it out for him, he tells him, he's like, look, um, I try all the time to get, to hell, because I want to rescue my mother, I want to free her, um, but I can't do it, I need your help, I need the, um, uh, I need, str you know, I need your expertise in all this. And, uh, so Strange is like, okay, like Strange does, he agrees, even though he probably shouldn't. Um, so he ends up training Doom, uh, because he says, look, I can get us there, but it can't just be me alone. You also need to put forth some, some effort. So, uh, Strange kind of trains Doom that way that, you know, he can help him achieve it. Um... So once there, of course, uh, ultimately what I like about it is in the end, uh, Doom gets what he wants, but not in the way he wanted it. Um, so ultimately he has to, in order for things go r south for, uh, Strange and Doom once they get there. And so he frees his mother, but not in the way, like, bringing her back you know, from hell, um, because, of course, it's Mephisto, so it doesn't make it easy, he actually, uh, sets it up to where he lets her out, like, he, you know, he, he brings, uh, Doom's mother forth, and, uh, so Doom's like, uh, mother, I'm here to free you, and so she freaks out on Doom, because she's like, you of all people I didn't think this would happen. Um, I made the mistake of summoning him and made a deal with him, and this is what happened to our family. You know, we went down the wrong path, and I didn't think he would make the same mistake by trying to make a deal with him, which Doom, once he gets there, tries to wheel and deal and make a, a deal with Doom, or not Doom, Mephisto, to free his mother. And so she is, she's just unhappy with him, um, because she, now she feels like her efforts to, you know, make sure Doom and nobody else made the same mistake she did, uh, happen, and it, ultimately he goes to free her, so it did. So, um, she doesn't accept, um, so, uh, since she says no, um, Mephisto kind of, 
blocks her and turns her into stone. And so this upsets Doom, obviously. One, he's disappointed his mom and it didn't work out the way he thought it was. And then now Mephisto's like, ha ha ha. So, um, technically you got what you wanted. So, it being Dr. Doom, you're not going to tell Dr. Doom what to do. Um, so, ultimately he destroys, in order for Strange and Doom to get out, um, he almost, he basically has to sacrifice his mother by destroying the statue thing and defeating Mephisto and all that stuff. And so they get back, um, from hell, uh, Strange thinks everything they've done was basically a lost cause. He's like, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to help you free your mother. And, um, but to Doom, uh, he did free her. He, uh, since he had to, you know, basically destroy her for them to get away to defeat Miss Fisto, um, and he was like, yeah, she's not, it wasn't a total loss. And, um, that's almost how the book ends. Um, Doom's like, or Doom's like, yeah, you're free to go, Strange. And then, you, you know, the last panel is just kind of Doom sitting up on his high castle, just kind of looking out at Laveria. Um, it's a short, well, yeah, it's a short read. Um, it's one of Marvel's original graphic novels. I think it came out in 1988. Yeah, 88. Um, and the art is phenomenal. I love the art in this book. It's, uh, Mike Minola, um, creator of Hellboy. Um, he did the artwork in this. Um, in the early days, he did artwork for DC, Marvel, and all that. That was before the Hellboy stuff. So he had, he had already, already been all over the place, you know, before he had got that point. But yeah, I, I love his art style. I love when he kind of, he's like a monster artist. He loves drawing monsters and creatures and all that stuff. So he was perfect for this book. And it's almost got like a watercolor uh, paint style to it. So I really like it. Um, I got it in the trade. So there are backup stories uh, to this book to tie into it. You don't need to read them to enjoy the book. Um, so if you can just find the trade, uh, Triumph and Torment, um, you can, honestly, when I do read it, I just read the uh, Strange Doom part of it, and I don't really read the uh, other tie-ins, because there's like a Submariner tie-in and stuff like that, and I just, I'm not really interested in that. Um, I have read them, but... Yeah, that was the book I wanted to cover, though, um, especially uh, this coming week, uh, Friday, Thursday or Friday, uh, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness comes out, so I'm excited for that movie. I wanted to do a Doctor Strange book, but at the same time, I wanted to shine some light on Doctor Doom, because he's my favorite. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if he showed up in the movie, which I don't think he will, but, so that's going to be this episode, um... I hope you enjoyed it, uh, gave you some insight onto this book, and maybe you can check it out, I'm sure it's on Comixology, it's in trade, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.